Okay. Hi, I'm Eric Owens, and I'm an opera singer. And I'm here to tell you about my top five opera character entrances and the music that accompanies them. Number five is from Puccini's Tosca. It's the entrance of Baron Scarpia. He's your typical bad guy, evil guy. And the music that accompanies his entrance into a church, nonetheless, is these big brass chords that you actually hear at the beginning of the opera as well that sets the mood. And, and, and he comes in and there's a whole lot of activity going on and the, the uh, boys' choir is running around and the sacristan is running around. And this very unholy character coming into this holy place and moralizing the people for behaving this way in a church. And it's just, the irony is just amazingly delicious. And it's, it's one of my favorite moments in all of opera. Number four is from an opera by Richard Wagner called Tristan and Isolde. This is the entrance music in act two of Tristan, who's been away from Isolde and he can't wait to get to her side again. And there's this wonderfully agitated music that's reminiscent of a heartbeat and footsteps and and he can't wait to see her and he goes as old and she he goes Tristan is like oh I can't believe it's you is this real is this a dream oh my god I love you I love you I love you and they, this goes on for quite a long time and but what's so funny about this situation is these two are in love not of their own volition they both have drunk uh, love potion in the previous act and even though this isn't necessarily true love the feelings are there all the same and they just can't get enough of each other and they sing about this for about the next maybe 45 minutes opera is funny number three is from an opera by yet another Richard Richard Strauss the opera is called Der Rosen Cavalier and this is the Act three entrance music of a character called the Marshallin, who was a princess in Vienna, and she's entering a tavern where this sort of farcical comedy of, of assumed identities and and tricking this baron, uh, this baron called Baronox, who is a cousin of hers, and this other. Uh, character called Octavian, who's also a noble person, but they're in this tavern doing things that are anything but noble. And with the entrance of the princess, the Marshallin, she restores a dignity to a scene that has been up to that moment nothing less than just absurd. And and she comes in and she's quite elegant, elegant in this music is just washing over the scene that seems to say to the rest of the characters, this is how you should be behaving. Yeah. Number two is from an opera by Joe Green, AKA Giuseppe Verdi. It is his opera based on Shakespeare's Othello. It's called Othello. And this is the entrance of act, in, in act three of a character named Lodovico who is an emissary who's come uh, to Cyprus to give uh, Othello this new decree, his new instructions from the Doge. And it's just this amazing music. I've actually played this part of Lodovico. And it's a small part, but the, the music, the entrance music, it's usually the, the, the curtain just lifting up and the chorus just... And, and the orchestra, the brasses and, and the strings are just going crazy. And then they say, Eviva, Eviva, Leon di San Marco. Hail the line of St. Mark. You know, and it's just, it's this amazing music. And, and you usually have this really long kind of, you know, uh, robe on and, and the wonderful hat that I probably usually cock to the side a little bit. 
and this uh, the scroll in your hand, and you just coming in, and it's like you like hello, how are you? And, but the music is just so amazing, and, and and I just find it so funny because the part is so small, <laughs> but it's probably some of the best music all night. So, the entrance of Lodovico from Verdi's Hotel. Number one comes from an opera called The Dialogues of the Carmelites. This is by Francis Poulenc. Uh, it's a story about the uh, Carmelite order of nuns who are in Paris during the French Revolution, and uh, they ultimately get uh, sentenced to death for conspiracy and or whatever trumped-up charges that the uh, the revolutionaries come up with, and. Uh, but this is the entrance of the main character. Her name is Blanche de la Force. And she's this character who's basically just living in fear constantly, afraid of her own life and, and what will happen. And, and she's just come in from riding in her coach back to their home and, and a group of rebels sort of attack her her carriage and sort of shouting at her and and she makes this entrance and it's this hauntingly beautiful what I believe is a tone row and is, which is amazing it's sort of Poulenc's nod to the second Viennese school of uh, Berg, Webern and Schoenberg but it's just so beautiful starting with piano and harp and then strings holding this wonderfully dissonant chord that bespeaks this tragic character. And, and it's almost like fate is already tugging at her and knowing that, that what's to come, her demise at the end. Dialogues of the Carmelites. Once again, I'm Eric Owens, and thank you so much for listening to my top five opera character entrances and the music that accompanies them.